Is surface tracking that easy? Hey guys, my name is Mario and in this video I will be showing you how the surface tracker works in DaVinci Resolve. Two examples on where you can use surface tracking. If you're new to the channel, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe, give a like and all that good stuff. So let's start with the first clip. We have this drone footage. We're gonna go to Fusion, Shift and Spacebar. We're gonna search for Surface Tracker and let's hit Add. Now in the Inspector, we're gonna make sure that we're in Bonds and we're gonna hit on this plus Bond button and we're gonna start creating those points. This is basically what Da Vinci is going to track and where do we want Da Vinci to track. And then we go to Mesh. These are all the points that is going to track in the options. We can set a point limit and a minimum point spacing, which I don't touch because most of the time DaVinci is doing a good job on this automatic uh, option. So I don't touch anything here. If something doesn't work out, you would want to add maybe a little bit more points, but I would suggest you try it with the automatic option and then if not play around with it. So then we go to track and here it's a basic tracker like the other tracker that I've shown you in this channel. You can track reverse by one frame, you can pause the track, you can go backwards, forward, set one frame and then track forward. So I'm going to hit to track forward and then reverse. Now DaVinci is going to do its job. It's fairly fast, but it's a heavy task for the processor. So be patient. And here we have the result. Da Vinci did track pretty good. Now in this tracking behavior, again, I don't touch it unless the tracking doesn't work really good. For quality, if you go faster, it's not as heavy on your processor, but if you go better, Da Vinci will be even more precise. But in this case, and in most cases for me, it's doing good job on the faster setting. Now let's add some text connecting the node. Let's go back to the edit page and let's see the result. And the second example, this right here is a clip from my last video where I just slapped a subscribe on my face. Again, we're going to add a tracker. So we have this option called hole. Hole is basically a space that we don't want to track. Go back to mesh, check out all of our points. Let's go and make some more points even here to make it a little bit uh, better. And I will decrease the spacing between them. I'm gonna go to track. I would allow bigger motion range this time and I would go on better. So let's track back and forth. And here's the result. Now let's add our text. Let's check the result in the edit page. In my opinion, pretty cool results. Like you saw, it's not hard to use it, but sometimes it could be really heavy on your system. I hope this video was helpful. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe without wasting any more of your time. If you're interested, check out my other videos. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.